This week, grab a deck of cards because you're about to do not a card trick at all. It has nothing to do with cards. This lovable rap scallion brought to you by Audible.com. Welcome to the amusement park where the log flu is drenched in beer and the mascot steals your wallet. Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and this week we've got a couple of odds and ends that'll blow minds anywhere you go. These are puzzles that are totally gonna piss people off, and the best part is all you need is a deck of cards, a couple of coins, and a wine glass, and you will look smarter than your buddies. Plus, it'll piss them off. Holy cow, I am so excited about this. We got Jasmine and Samia, and I've got a couple of quick and dirty puzzles. To be honest, you guys might figure these out. Maybe you won't. Hopefully, we'll have fun either way. Sound good? Yeah. All right, first one I'm gonna grab, uh, we asked for a wine glass from the bar, and I'm gonna give each of you nine cards, all right? You guys can get creative. You can create structures any way you want. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna create some kind of house of cards, some kind of structure that can be strong enough to set this wine glass on. Oh, like a legitimate house. Yes, it's gotta be a structure that'll support the wine glass. And here's the here's the condition. It's gotta be strong enough that once the wine glass is on, I can pour the water, fill up the wine glass, and the structure will still hold. Okay? okay, okay. So a couple of one more thing though, I am gonna say this. We always get some smart ass who takes his nine cards and he's like, oh, I've got a structure. There, ta-da! That's not what we're looking for. I was about to be that smart. Okay, good, I'm glad I cut off that before you got a chance. I will say, I'm not gonna say what the structure is, but I'm gonna say it's at least tall enough that a half a card is, right? So it could be this tall, or it could be this tall, just can't be this tall. Okay. Sound good? All right, now here's the thing. You guys go absolutely nuts, try as many different variations as you guys want, and I will grade you on your success. I, I wish I had a gong so I could go, bong, begin! No, this is good, you got the A-frame going. Over here we got Jasmine going with the lean two, the old tried and true. And you promise there's a way to actually do this, right? I promise, this is not one of those jerk joke ones. Like, it, it will actually happen. Oh, the uneven lean two. The A-frame, all right, good. Now just set the, oh. <laughs> Oh, you got the I beam construction there. That's good. Wait a minute, I have a new idea. Uh oh. What's your new idea? To make multiple triangles. See, now you're talking. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even fair. Even if we were, it's the wind. A lot of wind in this. I will. I will <laughs> say that the that the wind, no matter how much hot air is blowing out of the host, it shouldn't affect your ability to make. I'm really curious if that's gonna work. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm trying. I give up. Do you, you already given up? <laughs> no, She's already no, making up the up. See, No, Samia's got it. She's got the eye of the tiger. She's like, do not give in to the hurricane. <laughs> yes. Samia's already ticked. She's like, I'm done. I'm not done. Are you I'm not done? Like frustrated. No, well that's good. You should get frustrated. All right, let's do this. We can put this one on pause and I'll give you another challenge. Maybe you'll solve the other challenge and then you can buy the answers on either of them. Sound good? Okay, we're not giving up, right? No, you're not giving up. You're just putting this challenge on pause. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right, let's talk about our friends over at Audible. How great is Audible? They're the number one provider of spoken word entertainment with 100,000 books to choose from. Now, we're talking about AAA titles read by top-notch entertainers who make these books come alive in your ear holes while you're doing other menial crap. You're not there physically doing the dishes. Your brain is off in some other dimension battling space warriors. You're not taking out the trash. You're slaying dragon witches with your six shooters. That's why I say go ahead and check out one of my all-time favorite series, The Dark Tower by Stephen King. It starts with book one, The Gunslinger. You're looking at seven books for the series, plus a bunch of Stephen King's other books are all secretly about The Dark Tower. Best of all, it's gonna be made into a movie and TV show coming up in the next couple of years, and you can be first. Just head on over to audiblepodcast.com slash scam school, and you will get a book completely free just for signing up. We will look amazing. You guys will make us happy. Scam school will stay in business, and you will get to experience the Dark Tower. At least the first book. After that, you're gonna pay.
but it's worth it. It's freaking audible. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Uh, each of you pull out one of those cards. And each of you hold out one, your index finger of your right hand. Are you guys right-handed or left-handed? I'm left-handed. Uh, okay, left-handed then. Are you both lefties? Left what? I like all of them. Crazy. All right, all right, all right. Hold out your finger like this. Here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna put, we're gonna balance the card on your finger. And weirdly, we've discovered it's easier to balance the card on somebody else's finger than it is to do it on your own. I'm gonna put a quarter balanced on each of your fingers. Your challenge is you can only touch one edge of the card, all right? From beginning to end, you can only touch one edge of the card. The challenge is to get the card off without ever letting the coin fall down. Like, you can't grab it and do that, right? Because I'm touching two edges of the card. The end goal is, you're like this, the end goal is to end up like this without the card there, but you can only touch one edge of the card. Try it as many times as you want. This is making building a house of cars a lot. <laughs> You're like, can we go back to the house of cars building like, line? <laughs> I like the fact that you were trying to walk it without even touching the edge. It's good. I can touch the quarter, though. Oh, that's good. You don't have to touch the quarter either, though. That would be. But yeah. I can. If you did that, that would. Yeah, I should. I should have made that a rule. That's a very clever workaround. <laughs> you get half credit for that. Oh, I should have mentioned. Oh, what a I, you're right. I should have mentioned that you don't touch the quarter either. That's that a good wasn't point. A rule. That wasn't a rule. It is now. Congratulations. It's now called the Samia rule. So the new rule, <laughs> the Samia rule is you can't touch the quarter. Man, that's good. Because that's half the challenge of setting these up. Is you got to think of every little, you know, sneak around thing life. people are gonna it's do. Like yeah. Life. Yes, it is. This is like a metaphor for life. <laughs> All right, are you guys calling it? Are you giving up on both? I already won. Oh, okay, you you, <laughs> you found the secret Samia backdoor yeah. loophole. I'm cool with that. All right, I know you're cool with it. But do you want to learn the real way to do both of these? Yeah. All right, ladies, which one do you want to learn first? You want to learn how to balance the wine glass on the Let's house of cards? The quarter. Oh, the quarter one's driving you nuts. Okay, here. It's in front of, I'm like, all right, all right. Everyone gets up, gets up right here. Here we go. So you got the you got the card balanced on your index finger. And remember, what were the rules? The rules were... You can only touch one edge. That's right. And the quarter has to... Still be on your finger. That's right. So... Just like that. Aha! Now, a couple of things on this. First of all, it is easier to balance it on somebody else's hand than your own. Uh, I'm right-handed, and it's easier on your right hand because while your left hand does the flicking, your right hand does very small micromuscular movements to correct for everything. So it does matter that your dominant hand be the one that holds it on. Okay. But the important things are the rules, and yes, please, you made it brought up a very good point. You gotta explain that you can't touch the quarter because of course it's silly. Otherwise, you set it right up, touch one edge, just like that, and that's how that one works. All right, so we got the other one though. We gotta figure out how to create a house of cards strong enough to oh hold. My God. The wine glass. Now this one obviously ticked you guys off. And it's really, really good. And it's so counterintuitive because even if, I know at home there's a bunch of people who do card houses who are like, oh, I can build a hot card house that's strong enough to blah, blah, blah. Maybe they can, maybe they can't. But I know that the structure that solves this puzzle weirdly is one that by itself will not stand on its own. Most people, what they'll do is they'll start building a traditional card house and they'll just keep adding cards and then they'll eventually set cards on top and then they'll try to get it strong enough to set the glass on there. Even if it's strong enough to barely support the glass, the odds are once you add the water or the wine, it's gonna end up collapsing anyway. So instead, you build a structure that by itself won't even stand unless you add the wine glass on top. Let me show you what I mean. So in this case, what I've done is I've taken three clusters of three cards each, and I've just arranged them in a column. I know you're, you're getting ticked I'm off already. already. Okay. Now what's weird, is even though some of the cards are falling down, check this out, this is actually with only seven of the nine cards. I don't know if this is gonna work, let's see. It's gonna be wet. <laughs> wow. Wait for it. You guys are cringing. You're like, this is going to end badly. <laughs> now, weirdly, the more weight you have, the more stable the structure will become. And there it is. 
Everyone's afraid to clap because we don't want it to fall down. <laughs> now you can clap. There we go. <laughs> wow. Awesome. Do you guys like that? Yeah. Thank you guys so Thank much. How was it trying to do with this? I'm oh, sorry. Stop it. Thank you very much, Jeff. <laughs> Now what I love about these scams is how intuitive they are. Once you actually hear the answer, you can tell you don't need to do a lot of practice. They just make sense and they just click. Now you are gonna have to work for a little bit to get down the flicking off the card, but the important thing is that I'm sure there's someone out there right now who builds houses of cards, who's like some kind of genius architect who's thinking like, oh, I could build a better structure out of nine cards. You know what? Show it to me. Why don't you build one of the structures, put a wine glass on it, and send me an email with a photo of it to brian at revision3.com. Now don't forget, you can follow me personally at twitter.com slash schwood or follow the show at twitter.com slash scamschool and you can see all 200 plus episodes of Scam School at scamschool.tv. And make sure to join us next week because we're going to make a bold new announcement. All these other shows going daily ain't good enough. Scam School going hourly. Next week we're going to announce we're going to go minutely. You'll never be without free beer forever until you die of alcohol poisoning. That's, this is a bad idea. Who authorized this? I don't, I don't want to go minutely.